We're here on the floor of the PGA Show in Orlando, Florida. We're talking to yoga and Pilates and fitness expert Catherine Roberts. Catherine, great to talk to you today. Thank you. It's great to be with you always. I mean, I only get to see you once a year at the show. It's fantastic. There you go. We just watched you uh, put on a demonstration, and you were working with feet on the TPI stage. Uh, That was quite interesting, all the importance that you place on ground effect and using the feet. Well, ground reaction forces and the ability to use the ground in golf is absolutely critical. And I've been saying for many, many years that we don't pay enough attention to proper foot function. Not only the position of the feet and where the weight should be balanced in the address position and through the entire swing plane, but also being able to use the ground. And so the talk today was really about how do you create efficient foot function, get your foot to move better more efficiently so that you have um, you have a better connection all the way up what's called the kinetic chain all the way up the body and eventually out to the club the other thing I found really interesting was that you spent some time talking about the hip uh, and the importance of again the kinetic chain but if your glutes aren't right if your hips aren't right if the pelvic area is not right It just stops everything. It's true. So the way that I look at the body is with what's called chain reaction biomechanics. That's what my degree is in chain reaction biomechanics. And so things need to fire efficiently. When you look at the kinematic sequence in the golf swing, it starts in the feet, then the hips need to fire. As the hips slow down, then the thoracic spine needs to fire and so on. So what happens is is that if you have a problem with your hip, whether it's a lack of mobility, and if you have a lack of mobility, the chances that you are lacking glute strength are probably very good. And so then that affects everything up the chain. And one of the things that we demonstrated with the gentleman that came up on stage with me is that his left hip was tighter than his right. So it was much harder for him to turn to the left only because of the issue with his left hip. So if you want, when you're starting to look at the body and train for golf, you want to think about what's happening below is affecting above and what's happening above is affecting below. Yeah, and I have to say from my own personal experience of, you know, 40 years of trying to fire the right hip, I was having a lot of trouble with the right hip. So I went to an alternative therapist. She, again, like you said, she watched me walk away. She saw that well center. She got me doing some hip exercises, some turning, some of the things that you were showing over there. Oh, great. And it's it's helped tremendously. So yeah. I would urge any of you to maybe go to Catherine's website, which would yeah. be? It's yoga for F-O-R, golfers.com, yoga for golfers.com. Check out some of the exercises, some of the information there. If you're having some back pain, if you're having some hip pain, if you have some limited mobility, Absolutely. she might be able to help you get flexible again, maybe even pick an extra five or ten yards off that driver. That's our goal. That's our goal. Catherine, also before I let you go, uh, you do a lot with baseball. Do you find a lot of similarity between baseball and golf? Yes, it's interesting. I've been in Major League Baseball for 16 years. I currently work for eight organizations. and the These are Major League Baseball organizations. Major League Baseball. And what's interesting is that because I do a lot of work on the Golf Channel, the head strength and conditioning coach saw me on the Golf Channel and said, the, you know, the movement in baseball is so similar to golf. Actually, the kinematic sequence in hitting and the kinematic sequence in swinging a golf club are identical exactly. in terms of it being efficient. He said, we want to bring someone into our organization that understood that, that could then teach it to the athletes, and that was 16 years ago. Yeah, and I think you said uh, even a larger part of your business now is more with baseball than even golf. Yeah, and we're getting into the time of year where it's going to be 100% baseball, but because that's because I work on the major league side and the minor league side. At spring training. Yeah, so we're really getting close to spring training. Guys are already starting to report, so I'm spending, right now I'm spending about 80% baseball, 20% golf, but I'm, I love working with my golfers. You know, they're very different athletes, but... I love this saying, Bill Bowerman, who was the founder of Nike, said, if you have a body, you're an athlete. And I think that's how we have to look at ourselves. So if you're thinking about spending 500 or 600 bucks for a new driver, right. you might want to try getting more fit. You might be, it might not be the club, it might be you. So again, go to Catherine's website. Yoga4golfers.com. F-O-R-E. F, uh, no, F-O-R. I'm sorry. Yoga4golfers.com. Check her out. Maybe even sign on, take a couple classes with her online, and it might help your game that way. I, I'm, I'm here to help everyone, and if you have a question, you can just shoot me an email. I call everyone back that sends me an email, and uh, if I can help you with your game, that makes me happy. If I can help you with your life, that's even better. 
Catherine Roberts, thank you so much for talking with us here on Back Night Report TV. Thank you. Good to be with you.